The Lonely Wolf's Lesson Deep in a dense, lively forest, there was a wolf named Wally. Unlike other wolves who lived and shared with their pack, Wally was a loner. Not because he liked solitude, but because he always wanted more than his share. Whenever the wolves caught a meal, Wally would be the first to claim the biggest portion. If there was a cozy, sheltered spot during a rainstorm, Wally would be quick to mark it as his own. Over time, this greediness earned him an unfavorable reputation. Birds sang tales of the wolf who wanted it all. Rabbits whispered stories about how he hoarded food and shelter. The streams seemed to murmur about his never-ending greed. One day, Wally found a large, glittering pond filled with the juiciest fish he had ever seen. Without a second thought, he decided that this pond was his and his alone. He marked the territory and warned everyone to stay away. But in keeping the pond to himself, Wally had a daunting task. He had to guard it day and night, ensuring no one came near. While he was busy keeping watch, the rest of the forest creatures bonded, shared meals, told stories, and danced under the moonlight. The days turned into weeks, and Wally's fur grew unkempt. His eyes showed signs of sleeplessness. The juicy fish from the pond did little to quench his hunger for companionship. One evening, as the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, Wally heard distant laughter. It was the sound of the wolf pack playing and sharing food. The very pack he had left behind in his pursuit of more. He realized his glittering pond and the numerous fish couldn't replace the warmth of friends and family. Wally felt a pang of loneliness, understanding that his greed had led him away from true happiness. Deciding to change, Wally opened up the pond for everyone. Birds bathed in it, bears caught fish, and rabbits came to drink the cool water. But more than anything, Wally rejoined his wolf pack, learning to share and care. The forest sang a new song then, a song of a wolf who learned that joy lay not in having everything, but in sharing and being with those who mattered. And thus, Wally's once greedy heart was now full, not of possessions, but of love and friendships. Hey there, little friend. Did you like our fairy tale today? If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want more magical stories with Auntie Karen, click the subscribe button. Let's have more fun together.